Hello, uh, this is Jillian, owner of Ever Ready Travel, and today I'd like to discuss with you the new term, travel bubble. So what is a travel bubble? It may sound like a scam, but it's not. It's actually, it happens to be the latest potential short-term solution to travel for some countries. Most of us have been hearing about this term more and more lately. Um, this is actually also known as an air bridge, sky bridge, green zone, and green lane. Basically, it is a solution that allows travel without long quarantines between the citizens of a few different countries. Currently, travel bubbles are being formed between countries that have successfully managed to contain and control the COVID-19 spread and flatten the curve of the coronavirus infection. This is a stepping stone towards international travel as most of the people are carefully reopening their businesses and looking to leave that cabin fever behind. The first travel bubble was formed between China and South Korea on May 1st of 2020. With fast track immigration and health screening, COVID-19 testing and possibly quarantining in a government run facility. China is discussing the solution with a few other European countries to form yet another travel bubble. The next well-discussed travel bubble, also known as the Tasman travel bubble, is between New Zealand and Australia. Australia has stated that it will not allow international travel until October of 2020. And it's a discussing a travel bubble with New Zealand, who isn't allowing their borders to open to international travel for the rest of the year. An outcome is expected to occur within the next few weeks. The next one is among Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, and it's also known as the Baltic bubble. Germany is planning to reopen its borders to its neighboring countries on June 15th, along with Austria, Slovakia, and Greece. With all these travel bridges, where does America stand? Well, we are outside of these bubbles, considering the millions of cases in our country. As COVID-19 is not believed to be contained here, many countries are not welcoming Americans at this current moment. Hopefully, within the next few weeks, if the spread is contained, there will be a few travel bubbles of our own. People are predicting it'll be with closer countries such as Mexico and Canada, but only time will tell. So thanks for tuning in today. I hope you liked this content. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.